Hey, what is up guys? I'm here from AndroidRoots.com and today I want to show you Panel Android 3.6 actually version for your Galaxy Nexus GSM, Verizon, and Sprint. So all three major US, or not US carriers, but three all three major uh, Galaxy Nexus supported devices. So if you go into About Phone in Settings, you get Android version 4.2.2 and like I mentioned earlier, Panel Android version 3.60. And the main reason I bet a lot of you guys are going to be watching this video is because of the halo the heads the halo heads and if you don't know what that is it's pretty cool notification um i really hope that uh, more roms do put this in it's a great feature very unique feature that was originally taken from the facebook home chat heads so we go here and swipe right here as you can see that little white dot we're going to swipe it to the left and then we hold it down and swipe to our left or right you get youtube service you get successfully updated air droids uh google plus uh, file manager and there should be one more is there one more I guess not oh, okay so actually I'll automatically open that all right um let's go back out of that um now so if I want to go to my mail let's say right if I want to open my mail let's go inside it and then slide it here and then it says YouTube service so that's for my email if I select it it's gonna open in a brand new window over the app that you're running on so right currently I'm on my desktop so it's not gonna be anything but as you can see you got all, uh, what he said and then if you go and tap on that tap on the back it gives you all the emails right here without actually opening a brand new app it's crazy good this is great um, this way notification should be um, not like this you know you have to tap on it, it opens a brand new app that's a waste of time um, so let's say I am um, in my Gmail, right? And then there's a new, I a slide over the chat heads and then slide it over and I say suce successfully uh, updated AirDroid. I want to open that, right? Let's see what's updated. It automatically opens up AirDroid and you can sign in or you can skip. So let's go and skip that. And look, everything's functional. Everything works. 100% of it works even though I have Gmail open on the background and AirDroid's open in the front. So if I go and tap on that, it just automatically leaves it alone. You know, it's gone. And um, I don't think, yeah, it's not even running on here either. So it's you're good. So actually, I uh, just you know closes the app. Um, it's amazing. This is this is simplistic and it's just great. So that's the best part about this uh, version of Panoid Android. Um, that's what's gonna be a lot of people are gonna be wanting this. Um, if we go dive into settings, um, we can actually change some settings for that Halo feature. So if we go under, I believe, toolbars right here. Uh, you can go and change on Halo policy, hide Halo after activity, and reverse Halo gestures. So you can go and change all that if you do like. Um, I just changed this one, hide Halo after activity, so it doesn't hide as much. If you don't tap on that, it's going to hide it more onto the side of the screen. And if you get a few more seconds, and there you go, now it hides really well right there on the side. Um, and you also get a lot of the great features like Pi Control. So we're going to tap on this a uh, little there, and you can tap on Pi. And now you should get Pi. Let's see what's located. Oh, there you go. There's your Pi. So you can go tap on Home, or you can do whatever you really want. And you can actually, yes, you can actually change it too. Um, so I enabled this one gesture on the Home screen settings. Um, you can actually get full screen just by doing this, which is nice. It's nothing uh, paranoid exclusive or anything, but that's nice to have. And you also get um, that Pi control. Yes, you do. So you can get both if you want. Um, that's a nice feature. If you dive back into Paranoid Android, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have heard of it and seen my older ROM reviews. If you haven't, uh, definitely do uh, watch those videos as you can get a more in-depth look and feel about Paranoid Android and see if this is a ROM is right for you. As a lot of these features I've gone over, so I'm not going to go fully in-depth. But if you go tap on Hybrid Properties, um, there's another great feature too here. So you can get Paranoid Android colors, which is pretty uncool. So it changes all these colors. So for AirDroid, you can get these specific colors launchers. It's going to change the colors of it. Um, so if we actually go and apply it, and then we'll dive into uh, Google Play um, settings. The colors should have been changed. And yes, as you can see, all the uh, t uh, clock and battery and Wi-Fi has changed. The uh, navigation bars are changed. The whole color has changed. Um, that's pretty neat. I like that. Um, pretty uncool. I like it. Um, it's different unique and just great um, and what else is pretty cool in uh, paranoid Android is that you can change the uh, look of it so if you go to hybrid properties you can actually change this to stock so this is running on almost just about stock you can change the phablet so phone and tablet mode or you can do tablet mode so all your um, notifications is on the bottom right hand corner and nothing is at the top or anything like that so you get three versions of the tablet UI as well um, so overall this is great um, this is the greatest version I've seen so far for Panoid Android. Um, so a lot of ROMs are going to actually get that Halo feature as it has been open sourced. So anyone can put on the ROM. So that's going to be great. And you also have themes too. 
and lock screen settings, which you probably already see in my other ROM review videos. Um, but if you haven't, go and check it out. You know, just search on my YouTube channel, Panroid Android ROM Review, or just search Panroid Android. And a lot of these uh, will be uh, relevant for you if you guys are interested in Panroid Android. Uh, but if you if you did enjoy this ROM review, be sure to subscribe and like this video by hitting that like and subscribe in the bottom left hand corner, right there in the bottom left hand corner. Only takes a few seconds and is 100% completely free. And link down below for the actual ROM. And if you run into a problem installing this ROM, or if you have a question, is there a bug, or hey, uh, my Halo feature isn't working, can you help me out? Um, you can contact me through Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus. So those are three excellent ways to get in contact with me if you have a problem with this uh, ROM or if you just have a ruining question or anything like that and or technical, I can be sure to help you out as best as I can. So the social networks are down below and link to the ROM is down below as well. Um, this is a quick ROM review. So thanks for watching guys. Just want to share the Halo feature and just some of the other basic Paranoid Android features that is included in this 3.6 version. I'll catch you next time guys. Peace.